So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. Well, some cells under the microscope uh, do not seem to have any nuclei, uh, unlike the one that we have over here. Well, that's an onion skin under the microscope and you can see that there are, um, yeah, each cell um, has a, a nucleus. I stained it blue um, and uh, it's basically uh, as we expected. However, under the microscope, sometimes you're not able to see those and there are several reasons for this. And uh, today in this video, I would like to talk a little bit about that. Now many of you who have a little bit of biology background already already know that bacteria, the so-called the prokaryotes, they do not have a nucleus but eukaryotes like for example our own body cells well they should have one but actually also not all of my body cells have a nucleus uh, so I would like to explore this, uh, explore this a little bit here. I first want to talk a little bit about this uh, slide here first. It's by the way it's a, a microscope, a live microscope view that we have here and um, the onion skin that I've uh, got here is um, quite a nice specimen because it's extremely thin and, and there is absolutely no absolutely no preparation needed or let's put it this way rather almost no preparation needed and all you do is you kind of just take the skin and drop it on the microscope slide and then I stained it it's not the purpose of the video to show you the staining I've made se several other videos on that but I think what something that we can really see quite nicely is is that um, yeah here on the outside we have a cell wall and every um, every cell has a nucleus uh, this is this uh, large fairly large uh, blue stained uh, structure in here and the nucleus carries the DNA the genetic information of the cells right um, so here it's kind of a little bit like um, expected um, and uh, um, however there are um, over here well interesting uh, this cell over here doesn't seem to have one okay um, I have uh, yeah a suggestion of why this could be and the reason is, is I think that during the preparation um, of this uh, um, onion skin when I uh, ripped off uh, the skin from the remaining onion I might have damaged the cell and then the cell contents uh, have has flown out like for example this one over here also doesn't seem to have yeah a, a nucleus yeah but the surrounding cells all do right so um, basically this is uh, almost a little bit what we would expect yeah uh, pretty much all of the cells have uh, this uh, structure this nucleus um, in them um, however there are also plant cells that do not seem to have a nucleus and I would like to show that to you and then I would like to explain it to you why this is the case because it's actually um, not quite as straightforward so let's have a look at a different uh, uh, plant uh, cross section yeah so this here is uh, now the cross section um, of the the ovary of a lily the lily is a flower and you can see that over here yeah those little dots that you see here these are the nuclei um, yeah they used a different uh, substance for staining it uh, so it's uh, red and and not blue but if you actually look a little bit here on the periphery and then I'm going to actually go up with the magnification later as well you're actually going to see that a lot of cells don't have um, a nucleus here so 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 why is that but let's let's uh, zoom in a little bit more yeah here we quite uh, see it quite nicely yeah here nucleus here and all of those red uh, yeah, structures is a nuclei but many cells over here which don't have one that's kind of strange you might think well actually I have to tell you this is a preparation artifact as I like to call it um, they actually do have a nucleus but we just don't see it because during the preparation of this specimen uh, the nucleus was lost and that actually tells us already something a little bit about the three-dimensional nature of a cell because an, a cell is not flat really but it's actually a round a 3d structure and now if you basically make a cross-section of the cell and if you cut it and if you cut above the nucleus or below it then of course you're not able to see the nucleus because you're kind of uh, removing it and you're losing it right so this is um, essentially a preparation artifact and uh, the thinner that you make uh, the the cross section uh, of course the more likely it is that you're going to to, to lose uh, yeah, the nucleus this way yeah and that's maybe also one of the reasons why some of the nuclei appear to be like the one over here yeah um, appears to be a little bit smaller and the reason is because the nucleus is also round and now if you kind of yeah, just cut it right at, at, the, at the top or at the bottom yeah uh, where it kind of you know it, it's round at the top a little bit then of course it looks smaller because um, again here we see only a cross section but uh, even here we can actually zoom in a little bit more um, so I'm going to go now up the way all the way up to to 60 60 times 60 times objective and let's go up with a light as well you can see that this uh, nucleus appears to be significantly smaller um, yeah 
um, also maybe this one over here and this seems to be already the nucleus of, of the next <laughs> of, of, uh, of another cell right um, so you see that um, essentially also the nucleus itself has a three-dimensional shape and depending of where you cut it um, it might appear smaller but actually uh, you're kind of uh, cutting away most uh, most of it right so that is um, essentially the question of a preparation artifact um, yeah also not totally exciting but there are actually cells in here um, in a plant that actually really don't have a nucleus right and uh, if you look uh, through a plant cross-section occasionally you might see cells that have a very thick uh, cell wall like those over here right um, that is so-called xylem and xylem um, cells are long and thin tubes uh, that essentially have lost the contents of the cell so essentially they're just hollow empty tubes and because they're hollow they don't have a cytoplasm they don't have other cell organelles and of course also not a nucleus and the reason is, is because um, they lost all of the cells contents because those hollow tubes now are used for transporting water up a plant and then a nucleus and other cell contents simply would only um, take up the space and then you cannot transport the water right so the um, yeah over here um, um, as well. So just look for those cells that essentially you yeah, have those plant cells that don't that have a thick cell wall. Yeah, we have to yeah here um, here again right and the thick why a thick cell wall because the xylem actually has a, has a has multiple functions it's not only for transporting the water up a plant um, but um, it's also important uh, for for structural reasons uh, so the cell wall actually also gives uh, here that's a nice one the cell wall actually gives the plant also a lot of uh, structural support right yeah so again here xylem tissue thick cell wall yeah, and uh, again in cross section, that's why we do not see the long tubes because, yeah, of course, we're just cutting it across. Yeah, so um, and uh, this basically means that uh, some plant cells um, actually do not have uh, um, a nucleus uh, simply for that reason because they don't have one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again over here, you can see that uh, there are plenty of cells that also do not seem to have a nucleus, even though they should have one, but actually because we kind of lost it during the preparation. Yeah, when you cut open the cell, for example, then um, in this case, the cell contents wouldn't flow out because uh, and the plant tissue has been in, embedded uh, in paraffin, which is a, a wax, yeah, so it's not liquid anymore. Um, but still, uh, you have uh, removed it by actually making a, 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 a cross section. So what I would like to show you now is, um, is I, I want to show you um, a couple of uh, other cases where, yeah, essentially there are no nuclei visible for different reasons. Yeah, for example, here, um, that's um, also a plant cell. <laughs> that's a living one, and it's also in, in time lapse. So the green dots that you see, of course, are chloroplasts. Uh, so this. Is Elodia, it's a water plant, Elodia densa or Egeria densa, two quite related plants. Um, they have the advantage that they're also quite thin, and when you put it under the microscope and when you simply make a video um, and then um, yeah, do time lapse, then you're able to see those chloroplasts moving around. Um, and uh, do those cells have a nucleus? Well, I don't see them. Well, actually they do, but uh, because we're looking now at a living unstate specimen, um, you cannot see the nucleus because it's transparent, right? Um, so um, the chloroplasts, they are green uh, yeah, because they catch sunlight, they have chlorophyll, uh, but the nuclei themselves, they are in there, um, in those cells, but you do not see it. So I'm just going to show you another one here. It's a little bit slower. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, you, I have had a problem actually identifying the nuclei um, and uh, because, yeah, actually I, I do see one over here, barely, maybe, just to show you. Do you, do you see, if you look carefully over here, right, yeah, um, you might actually see there is something, a, 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 a pretty transparent structure here and uh, you can also see that sometimes the chloroplasts are kind of moving around it. So that means that um, essentially the yeah uh, sometimes we don't see them because um, they're simply transparent, right? Just want to show you another one over here. Yeah, that's that's a little bit way too fast. Uh, this one is actually better. Yeah, do you see this round structure over here, right? Yeah, so here we see it over here. Yeah, and you, you'd have to look around a little bit, and it could be that uh, you're not able to see it because it's out of focus. So you have to actually um, get the focus uh, just just right. Yeah, that, that's the video I wanted to show you. These, these are red blood cells. These are my red blood cells, um, also in time lapse. So what you see over here, that's um, a, a white uh, blood cell moving around. And the red blood cells also don't have a nucleus. Yeah, so that might surprise you a little bit. Uh, yeah, of course, we are eukaryotes. Our cells should have a nucleus, and most of them or many of them do. But red blood cells have lost them during the cell division. Um, it's an asymmetric cell division. And uh, when uh, those red blood cells are formed, then the dividing cell will actually make a red blood cell that does not contain a nucleus. And the reason is, is because all of the space is needed to carry hemoglobin, which is important for carrying oxygen. Um, quite unlike uh, this white blood cell over here, 
right? Um, those, uh, this white blood cell, you can actually see there is a nucleus inside, but it's not even one single round structure, but it is lobed. Yeah, so it's basically made of several parts, right? Um, and uh, yeah, so just, just saying that uh, even inside blood, um, the cells are very different, uh, different from each other, okay? So well, I just wanted to, to kind of share this with you. Um, yeah, I um, hope, hope it was interesting. Would like to, of course, invite you to subscribe to this uh, channel. Um, please also tell me in the comments how you like this format where I kind of show and tell you um, yeah, a few things that I have found under the microscope. Um, yeah, but uh, for today, I'm just going to leave it um, as it is. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around in the next video. Bye-bye.